Lately, I've been creating a lot of these aesthetic Instagram carousel videos, and a lot of you guys have been asking me, how do I add these black rounded borders in my video? So in this video, we're gonna be quickly learning how we can add these black borders, and I'll also share my thoughts on why you should be creating Instagram carousels and why they might even be better than Instagram Reels in terms of growth. But before we jump into it, I wanna let you guys know that my Instagram creator course is officially out. After nearly two years of production, I'm extremely happy to say that it is officially out and you can enroll now. In my Instagram creator course, I teach you everything that I know that has led me to grow my accounts from 20,000 followers to now over 200,000 followers, all within just a little over a year. And because of this massive explosion of growth within such a short amount of time, I've been able to collaborate and create content for some of the biggest brands in the entire world like Sony, Honda, DJI, Asus, and Google, just to name a few. I truly believe that this is one of the fastest and easiest ways to build a successful online brand or business to completely change your life if you can master the art of short form content. So in my Instagram creator course, we aim to tackle exactly that and cover nearly every aspect that it takes to become successful on Instagram. This is a jam packed course diving into everything from understanding the algorithm, learning how you can formulate viral reels that will have much higher chances of consistently hitting the algorithm, learning how to film breathtaking cinematics, and how to make nearly any shot look cinematic no matter what camera you're using. We'll be diving into everything from lighting, composition, camera settings, pre-production, camera movements, and so much more that will separate you from your competition. We'll then dive into how you can edit high quality short form videos. We'll learn how to edit videos extremely fast and efficient, saving you loads and loads of hours so that you can focus on more other important tasks. We'll also be learning some really important editing techniques that will drastically increase your audience retention in this short form content platform. And then once you are creating amazing high quality viral short form videos and gaining millions upon millions of views and thousands and thousands of followers, we'll then be diving into some really success to monetize your Instagram account so that you can actually go full time making a living doing what you love and finally have that time freedom, location freedom and creative freedom that comes along with having a successful Instagram account. This course is designed in a way that a complete beginner or someone even more experienced will find a lot of value in. So if you would like to learn more and more information about this course will be found over on my website. So make sure to head to the link in my description and I might even be running a limited time sale. So definitely make sure to check that out before it's gone. All right, so let's first start off with some really important things that I've learned about Instagram carousels and potentially how you can make them go viral. And then we'll dive into how you can add these black rounded borders into your video. So at first, I actually did not realize that Instagram carousels could go viral just like Instagram Reels. I believe when they first introduced Instagram Reels and this new algorithm, Instagram Reels was the only type of content that was being recommended and suggested out to millions of other users. And normal posts like photo posts and carousel posts were basically ignored and neglected. IG Reels was by far one of the best ways to grow on Instagram. And I'm not entirely sure when, but somewhere along the way, they They've also enabled Instagram carousel posts to be suggested out to millions of other users, just like Instagram reels, basically meaning that Instagram carousels can now go viral. And I first noticed this because I started seeing a lot of carousel posts pop up on my home feed, even though I wasn't following these creators, they were being suggested to me. And that's when I realized that carousel posts are able to go viral just like Instagram Reels. And I decided to actually test this out myself and I made a bunch of carousel posts. And here are some screenshots of the analytics of some of my carousel posts with the vast majority of my views coming from non-followers and also mainly from the homepage. Now, another really interesting pattern that I discovered with Instagram carousels that you should definitely know is more of my existing followers was actually seeing my carousel posts over my Instagram Reels. And I think that's because of one really interesting thing that I noticed about Instagram carousels. I noticed that when you're scrolling on your home feed and you come across a carousel post from someone you follow, and if you then refresh your home feed, the same carousel post will pop up again, but this time on the second slide. So what this means is that your post pops up twice for your followers instead of once, like it would on an Instagram reel. And it might even pop up more than twice. I'm not entirely sure as I haven't tested this out extensively, but I can absolutely confirm that it does pop up twice and it will pop up on the second slide the second time. And sometimes if it doesn't pop up again upon refreshing your home feed the first time, it will pop up again at a later time when you do refresh your homepage. Okay, so why is that important and what difference does that make? Well, not only will more of your followers see your content, which will increase your reach, but 
Also, you have two different hooks to grab your viewers' attention. With the nature of short-form content and the short attention span that comes along with it, we all know that having a hook or something that will grab your viewers' attention in the first one to three seconds is extremely important. So now having two hooks, let's just say if your viewer wasn't that stimulated the first time they came across your post and maybe they just scrolled right past it. But when they do refresh at their home feed, they'll see your post again, but this time on the second slide and maybe something about that second slide hooked their attention and now they watch your entire post. And they might even drop a like or comment on your post or if they're a non-follower, give you a follow. Having a hook is so important in this algorithm and can be the difference of your video getting 10,000 views or a million views. So by having two chances to hook in your viewer, in one single post, I think is a really nice way to increase your chances of the algorithm noticing your content and being suggested out to millions of other users. So typically what I like to do when I'm creating my carousel posts is that I will make sure that my first and second slides have really strong hooks in order to grab my audience's attention. So typically that would just mean some of my best edits as my first and second one, or maybe the most eye-catching shot in order to make sure to hook them in so they notice my content and they actually watch my entire carousel post. I thought that that was something really interesting and definitely something that could definitely help you guys grow on Instagram and also just another way to sort of present your art or even recycle some of your content from reels into carousels. Now, another thing that I discovered about carousel posts is that I have seen photo carousels go viral. So I definitely know that it is possible. So that's really good news for my photographer friends. But I do want to mention that I've only seen a few photo carousels go viral. And I definitely think that video carousels tend to do much better just because the videos are usually just more stimulating and attention grabbing versus stills. However, photo carousels are still able to go viral, just maybe not as frequently as video. What I would recommend is that when you are scrolling on your home feed and you might come across a viral photo carousel that is being suggested to you, I would probably study that and kind of see what that creator did or just maybe what made that photo carousel so special. So now I'm jumping into how you can add these black rounded borders into your video. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do is just to download my black rounded borders pack, which is absolutely free. Just head to the link in my description, sign up for my newsletter, and you will be able to download these for absolutely free. So once you have downloaded the pack and open up your folder, you will see a few different aspect ratios that you can choose from. Starting off with three by two, which is what I would recommend more for horizontal video and is actually what I use to create some of my own Instagram carousel. So you can actually actually see what that looks like in feed. The four by three aspect ratio will give you more of a square look, which I think you can either use horizontal or vertical footage for. The four by three aspect ratio has been really popular for filmmakers recently and has been on the rise, especially on YouTube videos. The four by five aspect ratio is gonna be the tallest aspect ratio for Instagram carousels. This is the tallest that you can post, which is why this aspect ratio is definitely best suited for vertical video. And I've also used this aspect ratio for some of my own Instagram carousels, so you can actually see how that looks in feed. Now lastly, 9x16, which is gonna be your full vertical video aspect ratio, which this will be best suited for Instagram Reels or even Instagram Stories. And I also have a few different variations of this aspect ratio that you can play with. Another few important things that I do wanna mention is that I also tile these files with the correct dimensions, so that way you can easily create the correct sequences with the correct dimensions. Also, if you look closely enough at these borders that I made, I did add more of a ripped look, which I think kind of gives it more of an authentic film look, but let me know down in the comments if you would like to have a more smoothed out version and maybe I'll update my pack, but in my opinion, I really like this roughed up tear look. All right, so now as far as just using these files is extremely easy. Depending on which aspect ratio you want to work with will dictate your sequence settings. All you need to do is just drag and drop all these PNGs into your editing software. And keep in mind, it doesn't matter what editing software you use. This will work for basically any editing software you use like CapCut, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut. But in this case, I'm using Premiere Pro. So now what you need to do is to create a sequence with the proper aspect ratio for these PNGs. So I'm gonna go into file, I'm gonna go into new, and then I'm gonna click on sequence. From here, I'm gonna go into settings, and then I'm gonna change my frame size to 3000 by 2000. And this is gonna give me a three by two aspect ratio. And what I'm gonna do is actually save this as a preset, so that way I don't have to 
constantly keep remaking the sequence anytime I want to work with a 3x2 sequence. I can just save this as a preset so I don't have to constantly keep remaking it. And I'm just gonna title this 3x2. I'm gonna hit OK. And now you can see that inside my customs folder, I have a 3x2 aspect ratio sequence created. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change the sequence name into 3x2 and then I'm gonna hit OK. And that's gonna go ahead and create me a 3x2 sequence over here. So like I said, the 3x2 aspect ratio is gonna be more for horizontal video. It has more of a rectangle look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag uh, some footage in here. Now that I have my footage inside of my sequence, all I'm gonna do is just drag and drop my 3 by 2 PNG right on top. And in order to get rid of this white screen, all you need to do is just go into your blending mode right over here and change this into multiply. And now from here, all I need to do is just adjust my video in order to kind of fit this frame size because it is going to be a little bit smaller than your conventional 4K video. So there you have it. As you can see, it's extremely easy to add these in with my custom film borders. Make sure to go download them. They are absolutely free. And if you guys do make any content with it, I would definitely love to see it. So please tag me in it. All right, so I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did enjoy this video and would like to learn lots of other really important information about Instagram and how to create consistent viral content, then make sure to check out my Instagram creator course, which you can find a link down below in the description. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with all my work and if you guys have any questions any questions at all feel free to leave a comment down below and i will make sure to get back to every single one of you guys i know a lot of you guys have been asking me to make an iphone 15 pro pro res log video so that will probably be the next video on this channel lots of more youtube videos will be coming now now that i am finished with my course so i'm really excited to get back to uploading here more regularly thank you so much for watching if you made it until the very end and with that being said i will see you guys in the next one